buddy. I'm going to show you guys my uh, new script for Sonic Dash. I'm also going to be doing one for Sonic Dash 2 or Boom or whatever it is. That should be ready in a couple days. But this is Sonic Dash. Let's see what we have in our menu here. Always Dash. So I'm going to start around so you can see this one in action. Always Dash. Activated. And you can just leave this on for as long as you want. Uh, mind you, I have no idea if there's ban risks or if they even ban in this game. So, if they do ban in the game and they have leaderboards and you're at the top, I would expect to get banned if you use this for the uh, entire match or something like that. But, when you want to turn it off, just go back to the menu. Disable. And you'll go back to normal here. Crash on purpose here. Uh, in a second, uh, an ad will pop up. So again, they do have this here. Uh, I don't know if it's real. I don't know if it's real or not. Uh, not logged into Google Play Games right now either. But uh, if it is a real top chart and it's not just for your sake to see this and make you spend more money normally, and you come in first on them, there's a good chance you'll probably end up getting banned because you only do so well the jet. But anyway, here, here we got an ad that appears after each match. So to get rid of those ads, we'll go back to our menu, remove ads, you'll see this disappear. Yeah, under the shopping cart as well. Anything ad related. So I mean, uh, reviving and stuff like that. If you need to revive and use ad, you'll have to switch it back off. I haven't actually tested doing that. So you should have plenty of coins, or rings I should say. Alright, anyway, I'm going to play real quick and crash so you can see there's no ad. No ad. All right, next, unlimited prize wheel spins. So you can see up here, it's uh, three red star rings for a spin normally. So unlimited prize wheel spins, activated. And as the name implies, uh, it's unlimited. You can do this as many times as you want. Spin button will stay activated. All right. And uh, again, if you want to, you can disable that it'll go back to normal and now we got unlock all characters so here you can see it says I got four collected out of 17 available go to the menu unlock all characters it's activated leave that and go back 39 collected out of 39. And as you can see, if you upgrade these after you've unlocked them, the upgrades stay. Uh, you do have to run this again to, uh, to select the character, but you won't be wasting coins upgrading them if you, you want to upgrade them. 
All right. Let's see. All buildings are ready. All right, here's the uh, buildings that you build. As you can see, I haven't collected nearly enough. So I go here, all buildings are ready. It's activated, go back, go back to the screen. Ready, all right, 40 gems. So go back to our menu, set gem prices to zero. And uh, you can build whatever you want right there. Let's see. Uh, get rings instead of spending rings. Okay. So normally when you upgrade, it takes away rings like this. So instead, hit get rings instead of spending. Activated. Now, uh, you do have to have a total of whatever the price is. See here? Upgrade this a few times. And as you can see, you didn't really need to do an experience hack because you can get plenty of experience and coins or whatever else right here. All right. And I think that's about it. Let's see. Mm, yeah. That's everything. All right, guys. So this one's already available on the site. Uh, the script for Sonic Dash 2 or Boom or whatever it's called. Uh, that'll be available in a day or two, and I'll put a video up for that as well. Have a good one, everybody.